Hey, you've heard the term vaulting many times over the past couple of weeks with the Olympic gymnasts, but have you heard of equestrian vaulting? If gymnastics and dancing on the back of a moving horse sounds like something you'd like to try, Michelle McLean from Grove Equestrian joins us this morning to tell us how you might be able to give that a shot. And look there, she's got a friend. Hi, Michelle. How are you? Hi, Todd. How are you? Yes, this is Rhapsody. He's one of our vaulting horses. Um, he, you said it. You really set it up well. Vaulting is gymnastics and dance in the back of a horse. Um, the horse moves at three different gates. There's a walk, trot, and a canter gate based on the skill level of the vaulter and also the skill level of the horse. The horses are trained just like our vaulters are. Oh, wow. So they're both athletes, the horses and the vaulters. Uh, here at Grove Equestrian, for those who don't know about Grove Equestrian, tell us a little bit about your place and how many horses you have and the acreage and all that. Well, we are located in Cedar Springs. Uh, I bought this uh, place about a year ago. Um, right now, we are exclusively just a vaulting club. We don't do any uh, riding lessons or boarding. All we do is equestrian vaulting. Um, Grove is the name of the facility that houses uh, this, uh, the Great Lakes Equestrian Vaulting team. Uh, and the three horses we have right now, this is Rhapsody. He's an Oldenburg, which is a warm blood. We also have, I don't know if you can see, we have uh, Jethro uh, over there getting tacked up. And then we have a little, little Xena. You can just see her hind end. So <laughs> we have to work with vaulting. Um, they all have different like specialties in terms of where they are in their training and what the vaulters use them for. Yeah, and how do you train a horse to be a vaulting horse? What, what's entail, uh, th that entail? Well, you know, it's interesting. They're athletes, so they have to be able to canter in a circle and be very well balanced. And so they also need to be on the vertical, which is an equestrian term. So cantering on a circle with a vaulter on its back, we use a lot of cross training. Dressage, classical dressage is one of the best ways that we use to train our horses. So uh, Rhapsody is a, a, a dressage horse. Jethro's in training for dressage and Zeke also in training for dressage. You know, uh, I think I may have lost it. Oh, no, Sorry, we got you. Go. We got you. Hey, you know, we okay. saw some images here, Michelle, of some moves being done that we see gymnasts in the Olympics do on a, on a skinny balance beam. This stuff is being done on a moving animal. Is, is vaulting dangerous? How dangerous is this? Well, interesting. Vaulting is, is known as the safest equestrian sport. That's because you're indoor. The lunger is in control of the horse uh, on the lunge line. And the horse is trained for its temperament and its capacity to tolerate multiple different variables from loud sounds to, um, you know, getting sometimes the vultures and they land hard on a horse and they tolerate that. We train them specifically for that. So I think the, the times I've seen people being injured, it's mostly where they were goofing around and, and weren't you know, paying attention when they dropped, when they jumped off, things like that. So, okay. um, but it is the safe sport and you notice there's no helmets Todd that's because helmets actually can increase the injury rate in vultures because they need to be able to move around so much so that's another interesting facet of equestrian vaulting no helmets yeah it's a pretty interesting sport uh, who vaults I mean who can vault if someone wants to come out to Grove Equestrian and give it a shot uh, what, what are the age ranges for this well we will take vultures as young as two um, they kind of have to be special approved we have like a um, a mommy and me vaulting program. And then we have vaulters and vaulting that go up as high as 65 years old. It really just depends on what their goals are for vaulting. Um, a lot of times we have riders uh, come out who want to get better at their riding and get more cross training. They come out to vault. But really anybody who just wants to have fun, try something new and um, experience this majestic sport and these awesome horses. That's a pretty amazing stuff. Thanks for all the great information, Michelle. We appreciate it. You're welcome. Absolutely. Thank you, Todd. Thank you. Good morning. Absolutely. Our pleasure. Hey, Great Lakes Equestrian Vaulting. That's the group meets at Grove Equestrian in Cedar Springs every Saturday at 1030 in the morning for one hour. You want to learn more by visiting glequestrianvaulting.com.